Hey everybody, so I'm going over to Brian. I have uh, the thimble that I uh, bought the other day. Brian, I got this thimble. Um, I don't know if it's... It's got three crowns on it. Right under, right next to the 10. I mean, it's got a brassy look, but I think it could be 10 carat. I don't know what three crowns mean. Number 10 is the size. Yeah, it's the size of the thimble, but... It's patented 1880-something. Patented April 1888. But see the three three yes, crowns, yeah. like the that hallmarks? That the maker. Right. But I have to get the acid kit, so we'll test it. All right. Like with my gold filled, I put heavy gold plate, gold filled, oh, yeah. and uh, I don't know, good watch bands and stuff in there. It scratched nice. Even now we see that it turns like a brownish or it disappears. Green and gone. Yeah, eh, it's brown. No gold. <laughs> but <laughs> I, I did get four uh, four silver thimbles ah. out of it. You smell uh, more um, like But no, I try, like, since I add the gold plate, I save up, uh, I don't know. I would say I try to get 50 to 100 pounds before oh, I bring it to the wow. smelter. Jeez. What a... Uh, what is gold filled sell for gold a gram? Well, I, like a, I like good gold filled. That's in, I deal by the ounce, and it's usually like eighteen to thirty dollars per ounce. All right. So at thirty dollars an ounce, or, or how many grams are in an ounce again? Twenty-two. Thirty-one. Thirty-one. Okay. Troy. So the good gold filled's close to a dollar a gram. Mm -hmm. Yep. All right. Oh well, on the brass. I'm gonna see what else is at the market. All right, hang in. She has some nice stuff. Looking at that playing the horn. It's a dwarf carving a face of. What do you get on the buttons? Uh, these are all five dollars each. The Victorian ones, yeah. Well, I think I'll get that dwarf. Okay. It's kind of cool. Yeah, yeah, I just picked up a bunch yesterday. Yeah, you always seem to find some good ones. Well, I work at the opera. Mm -hmm. I work at the Met, and I get... Every once in a while you'll find something good? Well, whatever they don't use in production, I get to buy, and they, they usually have some really cool stuff. What do you get on the enamel flower, or butterflies? Those are three apiece, two for five. Two for five. Mm -hmm. In the 70s. <laughs> well, I'll get these two. Okay. Actually, maybe that one's more fun. Okay. Uh, what else do you have? Anything else? Mm -hmm. uh, two for five? No. Uh, no, I just that? I don't think so. I don't think so, yeah. Okay. Small snail's kind of fun. Yeah. I'll get them for three. So that's eight, or 13 I got all together. Okay. Thank you very much. Yeah, keep checking, because I get- I know, you always have very, very nice things. I um, I have a whole dress full of those pins. <laughs> uh, I think that's it. Okay. What is this right here, by the way? Oh, that's a really good Victorian one. Can, it's can Bakelite. I see it? It's Bakelite with, um, it's it's like from the 1800s. I just can't believe how big it is. Yeah, yeah, it's a Whopper. That's cool. Yeah, that's a good pen. That's very, it's too bad it has a... Yeah, well, that's very old. Yeah. It's old nah, stuff. It's got that nice, definitely got that size. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, Here's... Yeah. Here's the 13. Okay. Thank uh, you. Okay, thank you very much. Cool fob. Let's see this uh, one cufflink's just made well. Okay. I said this one cufflink is made well, I just don't see the other one. It'd be interesting if it's in here. Of Roman soldiers. 
Never know what you're gonna find. No, I know. That's why I buy these boxes, you know what I mean? Every now and then I get something good in there. They over, you know, I don't go to, you know. But I, like I said, I put it in my store. I got a dollar a piece of shit over there, so. Yep. I got two pieces here. Uh, $2. Or three pieces, oh, three, I, I like. $3. All right, thank you very, very much. I'm gonna get this uh, charm too. It's not gold, it's just a. Uh, yeah, just whatever it is, yeah. Right, let's see if I can. Do you think. This box got mixed at all? Yeah, yeah, I mixed it. I, I, was, I was moving shit around. All right, well, maybe I'll see if I can get up the five bucks then. I'm going to see if I can find that other coupling. That's nice. Too bad it's missing the front crystal. See, it's got the... The rear crystal. I would have had a front crystal, but it's just made really nice. It'd be nice if you found the crystal in the box for that that pendant watch. It's always fun going through uh, my st sterling of uh, hearing. One time I was at the flea market and somebody had a box of these uh, shank rings and the one was, the whole box ended up being uh, rough 10 karat gold. I think he sold it for like 150 bucks, but the guy scrapped it for 12,000. So it's one of those things. You know, everybody passed it. It sold later in the afternoon. The only reason I knew about it was the guy next to me was the one who bought it. Oh, this looks like it could be gold. A little bead. One of the reasons I collect pewter so much, um, when I was, one of the things I wanted to do was work on, uh, casting with, uh, making some bronze and uh, bronze is 10% tin 90% uh, copper so one of the thoughts was use the tin in the pewter to make the bronze I'm not seeing let's move this last box over I guess that's it. It's actually a really nice necklace. I think that might have got us the five bucks. I was just hoping that missing cufflink and missing earring were in there. Here, uh, this cufflink's silver if uh, you ever do find the other one, but you could always put it with your silver pile. That's good. That's good, yeah. 
All right, I got five bucks. One, five. two, three, four, five. Yeah. Thank you. Is this a pencil drawing or is it a? No, no it's, pe it's a, that's actual drawing. Really cool. A really fine drawing. You yeah. Really 1950s yeah, yeah, so with the hairdo. Yeah, the 50s hairdo. It's a real guy on the video. It says, see, yeah, Th on, on Thomas. The bottom, yeah, right here, Thomas. I couldn't find who Thomas was. It's very nice. Yeah. Have a good day. He's got some nice tools. size of these hinges. What do you get on the fan? Very nice. Was it always a box, do you think, or do you think it... Yeah. Just needs a new back. Would make a really good display case. How much did you say? Twenty bucks. You have. All right, I gotta buy something off you. You always, you always have some of the nicest things at the market. Well, thank you. I wonder what Ivan's is. It's a. It, it is a cracker. Yeah. All right. So it's cracker display. Would you take a bag? Uh, yes, if you have one. I have the twenty dollars. What do you get on the bighorn antlers? Eighty bucks. Rainbows, right? They're uh, bighorn sheep. Okay. From like the Rocky Mountains. It's amazing how many. You s it's like the second set I've seen at the flea market, but they're like. Oh, really? uh, yeah, some are really like got a lot turned to it. Yeah, it, well, it costs like uh, 50, 60 grand to go hunt them, so yeah, I don't I know. know. There's something pretty cool. It's right there. This? Next to it. Right here. It's a fossil? Yeah, it's, it's from a uh, turtle. Got a million, oh, it's, got a million years oh, okay, I see. Yeah, it's the bottom, the bottom part. The bottom uh, part of a big yeah. tortoise. That's cool. One of the neatest things I found at the flea market was a mammoth jaw. I still have. Uh, Are you really? Yeah, you can see where the you can see where the tusk went in. I, I got it for twenty bucks. It was like one of those things that <laughs> but they didn't know what it was. I I. I oh, I, I bought that. And the guy says it's a fossil. It's uh, petrified wood. I said okay. I knew it wasn't. <laughs> yeah. No, I can see the turtle's face. All right, well, have a good morning. Damascene uh, flower. You take a lot, I'll really work with it because I'm really not good at I understand. I, I don't know if I need a ton. See this tray? These two trays together? 20 bucks for everyone. It's goodbye. Here. I get a lot of crafters at uh No, this is a great deal. Look, look at all the stuff I'm throwing in there. Uh, They're filled. Always a... Uh, Here, look at all this stuff. Yeah, I'm out of... Out of ideas on selling the big lots right now, though. I have a lot of it myself that you keep on asking me for. I just haven't haven't gotten to. I always seem to sell these for average a buck each on uh, eBay. Do you do anything with coins? No. I I I'll buy an ancient one if I see it here or there or. I know my coin's pretty good though. Good, I know. Like if I uh, 
I get a good collection, I have, I do sell them fairly well. It's actually a nice one. Yeah, I had a, uh, I was either gonna go with coins or stamps, and I decided to go with stamps back when uh, they had that, uh, the big great recession. Right. And I sold enough stamps to pay the pay the bills all that's the way good. all the way through. Well, that's good. Well, especially since I was doing furniture at the time. Right. I was selling furniture in the city, and. Uh, and how was furniture moving? Well, furniture was moving good, and then once they had that big crash, it hit it tanked. So you had to figure out something to pay the bills. Oh, I found something cool. I'm happy now. I really like that lion. I need a little, little brass medallion. A uh, little brass medallion? Well, like something like this. Just round, though. Round, like this. That's a... Something like this, just to put on something that's missing one. Well, my, it's my plan to work on today, is casting with some brass and bronze. That's your plan? That's my plan. I, I You're got a man the cast with a plan. I got the casting sanded in. So these are all Alright, I got my five pieces. Okay. How much are you? Thank you. Thousand feet, thousand dollars. You uh How much for all the people you said? Twenty? Alright, I think I'll do that. Yeah, no, there's a lot of a lot of vintage guys in there. I don't know. I just want to get rid of stinky All right. Here's 20. Thank you. I'm trying to lose weight. Well, made your load a little smaller. Okay, see if it's missing this. So I either go with this. That isn't bad, right? Or, no. Or this one. Well, you take that one and you put it here. Yeah. So, so, yeah. so you don't put, because everybody always, their their eye always goes to the corner. You think this one's a little better? Doesn't matter. It's a little raised up a little like the other one. What's nice is that's actually a really nice Victorian button. It's a shame to use it on that. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see if there's a... I don't, I don't think either of those really fit the best but that that victorian uh, let me see if i can find something now i know what you're looking for just want to fake something huh? yeah that's so it fits well whenever anything's missing something so most people don't want to take the time to fix it yeah, I'm just jumping. I not Keeps it interesting, actually. Especially yeah, if you have the space to work on it. Yeah, well, whatever one works. I don't see anything round and brass in here. Normally it has something. Have a good day, Chris. That's a scary picture. Good morning. Oh. It's like a, a dollar's worth of change in there. <laughs> oh, really? Well, I bought this one because it had a ton of vintage people in good condition. I bought one of these, but it was old. Now, the casting on this is rough. Like it's rough as new, rough as new. like smooth. 
a smooth casting. You know that you deal enough in hardware. Like these. Those are nice, but they're they're brass. Yeah, but um, you know Tops of lanterns, no? Chimney pipes. Oh, really? Of, like an old Victorian house. Oh, wow. You don't see them because when they redid yeah. the roofs, you know, they kind of trash them. The punch set. What do you get on the punch set? Six dollars on it. Brand new. All right, it's nice yeah, large yeah. letters, so that's kind of what I, I needed. I a guy looking for small letters. I need I need large letters, so six bucks, you're sold. There you go. Thank you. Yeah, not a problem, my friend. I got a bunch of ingots that I got to stamp. I, I thought maybe you are doing a trailer. Yeah. <laughs> nice match, safe. I think so. That's what I use for. work. Well, thank you. Yeah. Dude, you got to watch. It's cold. I have not even watched the food bugs. I know. Well, see, that's my thing. Is like, I finally got time. I'm in here. And then... Oh, yeah, though. And they're like strands for making it. That opalescent ones are pretty. Yeah, they called them sea opal. They were in bags like that. Yeah, no, that's definitely neat looking. I, I always sell these fairly well out here, so there's a lot of beaters. I hope so. Beaters. Yeah. Beaters. Is, I don't know what else you call them. <laughs> beaters. The beaters are coming. The beaters are coming. Could be the crafters. Yeah. <laughs> Your got me the other week to go down to, uh... What are you getting on the nickels? <laughs> I'll see 10 bucks on the back. They're cool animals. I like the critters. Is it a chess set? I, th I think it was so. I want to say yeah, but I'm not exactly sure. They must have glued the nickels on because they kept on falling over while they were playing chess. That's exactly what I thought. Oh, yeah, I'm here. Cool. I like critters. Well, I hope you have a good day, Dory. I do too, Dave. I do too. Thank you, doll. I'll see you later. You have a good day too. I will. Uh, I might be, might come out on Thanksgiving. They have a Thanksgiving market at Columbus. She's very, Julie's very trusting. No, no, no. No, I'll take him. No, oh, you'll take him. No, Julie, I'm only kidding. No, you can take him. I know where the blood What do you get on that pin? Five bucks. Listen, I know the Oh, oh. Yeah. Or would be deal breaker anyway, but. Okay. All right, you think it's Thank you. truck what do you get on that dump truck and the five yeah it's kind of I just I just bought something that almost looks like this got a nice depression bowl you do have a top for that? Oh, not that one, not. No. I think I'm going to get this green flower for five, though. Okay. Thank you. You give it to her. All right. How much is the cat? Five. Nice, nice work on it. Yeah. Oh, it's all a model. Been dropped a couple of times, but... I would think it's 40s. About the 50s, right? Yeah. No, 40s is my guess. I'm going to pass, though. Thank you. Have a good morning. Morning, Jim. You want coffee or anything? Yeah, small decaf with a little bit of cream in it. Not a problem. You're still one of my favorite vendors, so i got to get got to take care of you if you uh if you take this into her here take this uh, she'll fill it up okay she might even not charge you nothing i really like that box i got from you last week yeah that was a good box how about this wow looks right Original gum. Got a stain up top, but the two. Yeah, it's got a pierce, but it still looks well. Yeah, great. It's a creep. I've never seen it. Never the seen the bottom. Uh, the bottom part. Daddy imprint. 
Let's see if I can do this without messing it up. I hope you see the original gum. gum. Wow. Yeah, that's some kind of stain. But these two, I'm thinking of getting Cut. a professional to separate these two. Uh huh. Because they get it to yeah, because that's X fine, superb, whatever you want to call it. What uh? It's not what's the it book for. Like uh. Depends what book you look at. Like sixty dollars each. So there's ten of them. That's pretty good. But the two, I'm thinking these two here might exceed catalog just because they're, you know. In such good shape. Right. All right, decaf. What is this uh, cufflink here? Is it just a Civil War button that was made into cufflinks? Oh, I don't know. Kind of looks like it. That might be the real thing. Oh, no, it's not Civil War, but it's, they're nice. Ten bucks. All right, I'm going to pass on those, but I'll get the coffee. Thank you. So, it's getting to be that time of year. All the Christmas trees are being delivered. That's a huge amount. Definitely had uh, some good luck at uh, the flea market. I was happy I, uh, happy I went. But I figured I'd show you guys the Christmas trees. So, made it back home. I found some cool things today. I really like this, uh, I guess it's a watch fob, uh, Victorian. The cufflinks were pretty great with the R Roman soldiers. One of my favorite things though is probably this Victorian button with the dwarf carving the face. It's got a, it's over a hundred years old, but just reminds me of like Lord of the Rings, a Tolkien story. Uh, this, uh, I have the other green flower that I just bought. So I figured that had to go with, uh, with the one, one I got before. The Legos, the reason I bought them for $20, uh, there was a bunch of early space in here um, that was not in bad condition. So, I mean, his head's mixed up, but some of the earlier pieces do do, do okay online, but there was definitely a lot of, I guess, early 90s Legos in this uh, in this lot that I think I'll, I should be able to triple my money for the $20 I spent. There's about 30 people. I really did like the biscuit box. It's going to make a nice display case for uh, one of my older collect older pieces that I don't want to get messed up with the kids. And I was very excited about the letters definitely uh i was looking for a larger uh stamp for stamping the little ingots that i was doing and i thought uh thought it would be a good thing for <laughs> gabby or for darwin to sit there and play with um for six bucks it was uh, a no-brainer definitely uh definitely something i was looking for so, in all, I was very happy with the day, and uh, hope you guys enjoyed this video. I just feel lucky that uh, I got everybody watching, and thank you very much. See everybody later. Peace. If you haven't yet, uh, leave me a message. And check out my uh, Blue Bus Dave eBay. I'm going to try to get a bunch of pins up. Uh, definitely uh, the reason I, I buy so many pins is it is... For me, just a easy thing to ship out. And you can do it with anything. I did it with cufflinks before. You can do it with old buttons, um, pendants. There's a, you can do it with minifigures. At one time I had a minifigure that sold online. I think I got $305 for one minifigure. It was like a misprint Star Wars. I sent it to France. They were happy. I. I got to keep the money, so uh, it was 
it was a Bubba Fett of some sort. I'm not, I couldn't tell you why they spent $305 on, on a minifigure, but most of them four or five bucks. But you can do multiple listings like that with uh, combined shipping on basically any type of collection. So it's definitely, definitely a, a thing to think of, of when you're, when you're going to list. All right.